What's going on, Legion? Azrael here, like always, and we got some, uh, you should have left. Uh, look inside, uh, I don't, uh, it's a weird face for Kevin Bacon, but hey, you know, it's Kevin Bacon, whatever. Uh, but this is like some kind of scary movie, and he was in that TV show, uh, The Fallen? No, uh, I can't remember what it was, but it's actually a really good TV show, I actually really liked it. Um, so much I remember the name, but... Yeah, let's just get into it, check it out, see what it's all about. Let's hope it's good. I love scary stuff. If you've been here for a while, you know I love the scary movies. I love scary movies. So do I. I just said that, Kevin. The, the hell, man. I'm going to keep the volume a little lot. Oh, boy. Oh, Siegfried. Ah! Hello? Are you okay? Oh, fuck. It's its own kind of scary. <laughs> You should have left is about a man facing his demons. So hot. Come away with me. That's weird. Theo is a complicated man. He's lived two lives. If I don't get out of here for a while, I'm thinking we're gonna go nuts. There's a lot of tension in this marriage. We rent a house in Wales. It's so beautiful! Wow. I love this. Wait. What? Listen. Be quiet. That's when the fun starts. Jesus, you got enough switches? This house is enveloping them. Does this wall look right to you? What are you doing? 26 feet. I think I'm losing my mind. This room is five feet longer on the inside than it is on the outside. Nothing makes sense in this place. It starts to affect my dreams. Anything happened yet? I think I'm losing my mind. Somebody wrote in my journal. Time and space are shifting. I think I'm losing my mind. The house shows me. You must be guilty of something. It puts you on the edge of your seat. You can't quite figure out where you are, what's happening. It's terrifying. Wake up! It's a dream! This movie will haunt you forever. The hell was that? That wasn't Amanda. I don't think. No, I don't think that's Amanda. I don't know what the, fuck the hell that is, but Jesus Christ. Oh boy. I mean, it's more of a psychological, I think. That that jump scare wasn't too bad, especially since I knew it was coming. Like, we all knew it was coming, right? Like, he's just like, oh, what's over here? Um, It was a little bit more that you saw. Like, you don't really see a whole lot of... Like, I, I think there's a lot more hands in that grab, which I kind of liked. Usually it's very quick and something but um it looks like definitely more psychological of course because of all like the random pictures I, i'm gonna make my assumption that at the very very basic level it's he's the one doing it right like whether it's him in the future like he saw himself writing or maybe that was the past that he's taking the picture or a, a version of him might be taking the picture that could have been like the he could have killed the Amanda's character, and that was her from the future possibly. Like it looked like there was like some definitely time warp going on with small uh, small on the outside, bigger on the inside, you know. And uh, so there could be some kind of I don't want to say really time warp or anything like that, or even time travel really, but just multiple places existing at the same time, but they're from different points in time. You know what I mean? Like, present Kevin Bacon and then future Kevin Bacon are, like, both living in the same uh, place. At least from that one little clip that we saw. And who knows if that was just a dream. Uh, maybe it's Amanda. Maybe it's Amanda doing all this. You know, maybe it's not supernatural at all. That was just her covered in mud. <laughs> maybe she's really just the psycho. And she's going to kill everybody like, or kill her family. I don't know. Like, that's what I love about scary movies. It's how, why when what's going on it's like an investigation on how the scary movie is going to be done and it's one of the things i love the most about scary movies is trying to figure it out a who done it kind of thing it's like it's like a scary clue i guess but with that i'm gonna get out of here thanks for watching thanks for hanging out see what everybody i'm doing next later guys